right, ladies. Okay. I think it is time to do some more here. All right, so I went ahead and did these, oh, this morning before work. Didn't record it, but I just sewed this on the button. I sewed on this tab um, and just did the tied that knotted the string in front. And then I put a little bit of canvas on the back and some glue on the frayed edge so it wouldn't keep fraying, but I like it. So that's another fun thing for the winter journal. That's what I'm working on, the winter journal. So I just like these. These elements are just so rustic and more along the nature theme. So then what I did in this is I put two tabs per insert. Okay, and I was trying to think of like, how was I gonna do that? Was I gonna glue? What was it gonna look like? Well, then I remembered I have my Xyron. I have my little Xyron create a sticker, which worked perfect for the tabs and for snowflakes. Or I have this bigger Xyron, which actually might work really nice um, to do a whole bunch of snowflakes. But I thought I'd show you how I did the tabs first. So um, with this little mini one, you just pull this part. And so the tabs actually fit just perfect. So first I just slip one tab in and make sure I pull that a little bit so it's going in straight and then I put the second one in, the second side of the tab. And just pull that and then pull them both through just like that. So it's super easy to use this and you get, you refill, it's to all refill. So I thought I would show you, oh, and I did, then you peel this part off, the plastic that's on top, and I put these um, snowflake, I cut snowflakes out of these papers, and so I decided it would be fun to glue them in the book. And then I thought, what an easy way to glue down my snowflakes. But I want to do uh, the snowflakes on the bigger one and see if that works better because I can, because I use a lot of space just to get, they won't fit side by side. But anyway, so then just to do this, I just choose uh, whatever page I decide I want to use um, and I use it on both sides. So um, I want to use one that's sticking out a little but that I don't have anything on. It's kind of my idea, but nothing's really sticking out except this. So let's put them on this. So I'll just save my place there. And this is the this side of it. And I have flakes there, so I'm going to be sure and put this one right here. And I think I'm going to go this Winter Wonderland. So you just peel it off that paper and it's now a sticker, so it's sticky on the back, which is fantastic. So you just peel it off. And then you just carefully match it up so it's even and press it down. And you don't have to worry about your it coming off or a corner lifting up or anything like that, which is really wonderful. I can't really put a tab on the other side of this one because of all the snowflakes and the vellum and everything. So I'm just going to pick a different one. I think I'll do it on this one instead. Because I couldn't have done this one either because I had this. But now I can. So I'm going to put one... I think I'll put it down like toward the bottom and I'm going to use I'm going to use this one. Yeah, this this is super easy. I'm so glad I thought I remembered that I had that because I don't always use it and um for something like this it is so perfect. So I'm so glad I remembered because I've been trying, you know, trying to figure out what to do and how to do different things and 
This really makes it easy. Would have been easier than that glue stick I used on the tags I did the other day, right? <laughs> so I just pop that whoops, back in, back in, and I have two tabs in the book. And then um, I can go on and do the others. What I want to do, let me just cut this apart so it's a little easier to handle than it is at the moment. I'm just going to cut these up a little so I can get at them later. All right, looks like I have an extra two. All right, so that means I have these. So what I would do is I would just pick um, something that needs some embellishment, like right here. And all I will do is peel this off, and I can just put it right at the top because now it's a sticker and you can see um, the snowflake through here really well. It's it's really cute. I like it. And then I think I'll do it on this one. So I'll find another page where I think a snowflake like that would look, would look cute. And it's not any of those pages. <laughs> kind of want to watch where I put it, you know. So I'm just gonna. That would probably work. But let's. Okay. Um, let me see. How about this one? Let's do this one. And we're just going to do this one down here at the bottom corner. And there you go. So easy and oh, so much less messy because it's so messy otherwise. Yeah, and then I thought, well, why don't I try this Siren um, and put my snowflakes in here. So I thought maybe if I push them in, line them up and push them in as far as I can, it looks like I can get four snowflakes in a row. Oops, where'd you go? Stay. <laughs> that one went a little crazy. I might be able to get five, but I'm not sure. So I'm not gonna try. Let's see, did I get it? Uh, I don't see it. Did I do the right side? Well, this is the trimmer thing here. So, yeah, this is your trimmer. So it has to come out. It has to come out this side. Hmm. Well, maybe that little plan of mine isn't going to work. I'm losing, I'm losing. Where's my tweezers? Oh, no, I think it's got to be the small one because I almost lost them in there. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm glad you guys, I'm sure you guys like watching this craziness of mine. Oh, come on. Ouch, ouch with you. Okay, that was not a good plan. So forget that brilliant idea because that does not work. <laughs> it has to go in the little the little ones because I want to put some snowflakes here and there. And I'd like to use these on something fun. Like I'm almost done really embellishing. I don't really need to do a lot more embellishing. But I, I want to do something with this and I'm thinking I don't know you know I have to not the star obviously not the star is not going to work <sighs> 
I have to think how I could do something because I could stick these, could, let me peel this off. And then if I put the star behind it like this, and then if I put this down, this will, I want it in the middle. Okay. It will adhere to both, and then you have it, it adheres to this as well. And I can use that just as a little cute something to stick in a pocket or something. So, yeah, put the glittery side. Yeah, I like that. I think that's kind of a fun use. I want to put some loose on the pages as well, but I thought, you know what, let's, let's do this first. Okay, so I've got... I've got the two stars, I've got these two things, I've got this, I like that, and I have these tag, very, very simple tags. Okay, so I've got those. Um, I still really wanted to do something else because I've got this scrap stuff, and I'd like to use it. Um, this is done because I don't need this one anymore. Didn't really use those a lot. I mean, I could use them in this a little bit if I want, but we'll see. Okay, so the only other thing, I did want to do something with these. So maybe a fabric embellishment um, would work. Let's cut this. All right, and then let's, I want to use this. I think this is really pretty. So we're just going to cut a couple pieces, and then I'm going to cut a couple smaller pieces of this other one here, and a couple pieces of this fabric. So I have things I want to use, so I'm just kind of looking at some of the little bits and pieces of stuff I had left. Um, this is a different color, so this and all these bits won't, they won't work. Um, this, this would work. So we'll cut that in half, because I'm doing two books, so. And not that, I don't, I just feel like the blue is wrong. And so the rest of the scraps I'm just going to put aside. And I have this, um, which is really kind of cool. So maybe we'll do this with a couple of snowflakes each and just do that that way. Because it seems like this is something I could do stuff with. Okay, so now I've got this pile of, of things. So it would be fun to just kind of figure out what I want to do. So let me see this, 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 and this. And one of these and this. That's what I have to work with. So if I take and I put this here and maybe a piece of this here and a piece of this here and then I just want to do like this collage of these bits and pieces of things that I have you know because they're kind of cute and this goes more with the other stuff we're just going to leave that and then this Look at how pretty that is. Um, and then I can I can either put him there or I can make a button, do a button. So I have some buttons. That's two gray. 
because I don't want a gray button. That's too big. I'm probably better off using these little ones here. Oh, wait, do I have two? I have two like this. So they're clear on one side, but then they're white on the other. So the white, this is gonna show up better. So this is something where it would be um, easy enough just to do you do if I do it right I only have to do one stitch per piece or I can do some gluing and then I can stitch I'm still like debating here how I want to do this um, I kind of want to put this cloth like isn't he cute that owl is so cute so let's bring that this way. And this can come here. Okay, and this pretty piece can go here. And then I can fasten it all with a button. And it's it becomes a sort of tuck spot, I think. I was gonna turn the button this way, wasn't I? I could just, it's just a fabric something that's cute. Okay, so let's, let's get this going. Let's see if I actually managed to uh, get everything and not lose any pieces. That's gonna be the trick. All right, so let's see. Well, I caught it all, so I'm pretty happy about that. Now I just have to. Yoo hoo! Where are you? <laughs> where are you? There it is. Yeah, and then maybe. Come on. Don't be stubborn. There we go. I like that. I think that's really cute. I'm almost done with all the embellished stuff, and that means all I have to do is put some washi on the pages, a couple more stickers, sew them together, <laughs> and I'm done. Okay, come on. I'm definitely having some issues with this. I don't know why. Come on, there we go. Just trying to get it so that it... Oh, there was one other... I was thinking of another embellishment too, but I'm not sure. I think I just... I think I have enough. I don't want to over... overload. So once I get the pages put in, these little embellishment things I made, they're going to um, they're gonna go. Okay, okay, that's stuck. They're just gonna get glued in or whatever in those pages. Um, but I don't want to do them before I sew because then. They just get too bulky. So there it is. It's it's kind of cute. You can actually you can kind of arrange it however you want because they do spin a little bit. There's some movement there. That was kind of fun. Yeah, so I have a few buttons left, but I have used up a good portion of my buttons, and I still never came up with something for this, did I? So where'd the other one go? This is one. Oh, for crying out loud. What did I do with that? Well, anyway, somewhere on my desk, <laughs> there it is. So I have two of these, so I have to figure out. I, I might just dangle them somewhere inside. They're going in, in it, for sure. I just haven't figured out 
exactly where and how. Okay, so let's take the next one and we'll go ahead with this. I want to trim this one off like that. And we'll put this here. And what did we do? We took this little piece and we put that here. And we did this up here at the top. And we did this kind of, kind of like this. And it looks like I've got some extra strings that don't belong. All right, and then we just flip, put that down like that. And try and find the hole. I know it's always a chore, isn't it? It's like, come on. I must be up too high. There we go. I found it. <laughs> Yeah, and just do a couple. This is kind of a very heavy duty thread, thicker, a little stiffer. Um, so that's why it was having a little bit of trouble with that cooperating for me with the knot. But we got it. These will be glued down so you're not going to, part of it will be glued down so you're not going to see this part of the back where I'm doing the knot. Okay. Oh, I like it. It's very cute. Okay, so that's that. Yeah, and I just decided I wasn't going to use these other pieces that I cut off because, yeah, I could, but... I think not. How are we doing on time? And we're still recording, so okay, yay. <laughs> the other thing I was going to do in these um, is make sure each one had, each insert had one of these deer um, heads in it. And this one, thank goodness I found the one that did. <laughs> I just, I, I was like, how am I going to find that one? Because I... I already did it. <laughs> so what I want to do is let's peel these off because they're very uncooperative. And I want to go to, so this insert has one. So this doesn't need one. And we'll put one in here someplace. Um, well, Let's put it here, okay? And number two, let's find a home. This would be kind of cool. So, let's put one right up here. All right, so now they've each got that. Now the other thing I wanted to do was get I'm gonna go back and put the snowflakes in, but I'm just, I'm not gonna do that right this minute. We'll get those in later. Um, but I did wanna take a look at my washi and see if there was any that I felt uh, would even work. Possibly this. It can't, it can't be um, spring time it has to be wintry kind of you know and that's where I'm struggling with this stuff so this oh and maybe these birds okay I got a couple I have a couple I feel like I can I can do yeah this is vintage this is just vintage stamps I'm not gonna do that one but but we can do these birds. These are fantastic. I'll just put little birds throughout. Um, I think that will work. There's even a penguin in here, which is so funny. 
Yeah, I love this bird, this bird one. So let's just go through. And I don't think I put any snow, I did kind of watch where I put snowflake stuff. And I don't want to do like everywhere, but I would do like maybe right here, where it would just add a tiny bit of cuteness. And we'll just kind of keep going. Got this adorable blue jay. And he would actually, let's put him here. Because I think, oh my gosh, it's not a blue jay either, sorry. I know my birds, I do. I got penguins, so I know some of my things have penguins. So I'm going to see. Because penguins are definitely a wintry bird. Let's put this penguin down here. It's so cute. Okay. And kind of check this other side and got some more birds here. So we can just do a little decorating. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. No, I don't want that there. Just kind of figuring where it could it would be cute here though. Just this little bitty. And maybe one more bird. So a rose breasted grosbeak, which I think is a very beautiful bird. And just look how pretty he is. And why don't I put him right here over the word Sunday? There, I like that. So that's kind of what I'm doing with the rest. And I will go through and I will put um, some of the snowflake stuff. I have to figure out, I don't think I put one of those snowflake cutout things in here. So let's pull one. Yeah, right here. I might have, and if I did, oh well. It's just how it is. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. All right, so that takes care of that. And then what I can do is um, I'll roll a few more snowflakes um, through my thing, my little Xyron, and just kind of put some snowflakes here and there and throughout. So that's all I'm going to do for this one, and um, I'll come back after I get these sewn into the covers so you can see that. And the only other thing that I was going to do um, was take this. I just need one pocket on each side. So um, I was just going to... that and try to do it somewhat semi-straight because okay that's better and just make a pocket from this because the ribbon is so pretty and these are the same size book so the inside of this book is exactly the same and we just do again right here. Then all I have to do is glue these down on either side. So that, that's a super simple thing to do. So I just take my glue, which needs a little cleaning because it's pretty dirty, sticky. Ugh. Yeah. And really all I have to do um, so it's a tiny bit of trim on this one. Just a tiny bit of trim. Okay. And the gluing the edges will keep those from fraying as well, because otherwise this, um, this would definitely fray. So I'm just going to do it right here, right to where 
I can see that it should go right there. And we'll do the same here. Kind of right about there. And I can I can glue where I need to if it doesn't like that's not correct. And make sure I get any glue I might have dripped off and then I just lay these down. There we go. Really very simple. It'll be permanent. It'll stick. So I'm just going to let that dry. And then I'll be able to wipe off any excess. Okay, so that will just make a cute little, you know what? <laughs> Me and my brains. I forgot the bottom. It's not dry yet, so it's okay. But I totally forgot the bottom edge. Not sure what I was thinking. Anyway, just same thing. Just, you know, let it in there. And I still have to put like grommets in here for the tie. And I'm going to do the tie like I did for my Santa journal. Um, the fastening, the way I did for that. And I will show that, show you that when I do it. Because it really turned out to be a, a super easy way to do that. So yeah, I was pretty happy about it. All right, so here... I can see we're going to need to go right about there. So we'll just come over here and we'll do the same thing right about there. I don't worry too much about, I can rub off any excess glue, so that's not going to be a problem. Like these stringy things. I have glue and glitter on my fingers. All right, so then all I have to do is lay that down again carefully, bring it up a little, and just press that in, press that, and that's really all, and this will hold, it won't come apart, it's really good glue, the Fabri-Tac. So yeah, those are done, I'll let those dry. And I think, except for making some snowflakes and then getting the rest of the pages with their tiny bit of decorating done, the next time I see you, I should be stuffing these. They'll be all sewn in, and we'll be stuffing them and showing them to you before they go in the shop. Okay, thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.